always be advertising. Don't turn your ads off. If you do that, you will lose velocity on Amazon. I'm gonna share everything that I personally know about PPC. I have a lot of expertise in running Amazon PPC. I have an entire agency built to structurally solve for PPC. Golden rule number one, never run out of stock because your PPC campaigns use the history of the past, the orders that generate from your campaigns. Never tap out on a budget. Now, there may be exceptions to this rule when you're purposely trying to not exceed a certain threshold for various reasons, maybe, but lower your bids until you have the ability to stay within those budgetary constraints because it would be better to have a lower keyword rank on the search result in PPC, but get two or three times as many clicks instead of just tapping out your budget at 10 a.m. on a Monday. And you could have gone twice or three times as long, got two times, three times as more clicks. Golden rule number three, the more limited your budget, the more long tail keywords you should chase. So for example, this wine glass right here, if I have a big budget, I might go ahead and do a broad match keyword for wine glass. But if I have a limited budget, I might go for something along the lines of funny wine glass for women. For example, if it had text on the wine glass. So as we think about PPC and SEO and their relationship, you can't have one without the other. Always be advertising. Don't turn your ads off. Don't go out of budget and don't think that you can just advertise for a month, turn it off and just rely upon SEO. It's not going to work. If you do that, you will lose velocity on Amazon. A lot of the PPC data does have a two day delay on the conversion elements. And so if you make changes more frequently than that, you might make changes before you actually know the results of your latest campaign launches. So that's really kind of important to keep in mind. Budgets. You need to keep in mind that if you run out of budget with your advertising, you're going to have some struggle. People don't realize that bids on keywords for PPC are actually an auction. This is relatively new strategy in the PPC world, but by and large, if you consulted 100 Amazon experts, consensus would be one to five keywords per campaign. I do have many campaigns that do well with up to 20 keywords. Not all keywords on that campaign are performing. And so what you end up having to do is you have to pull some of those keywords off of that campaign onto a new campaign and then they have their own impressions. Otherwise, Amazon will only give most impressions to the best converting keywords on that campaign. So whenever you're advertising, you have the ability to create all kinds of keywords, all kinds of campaign structures. And so if you make some major changes on an account, it doesn't always go up. Sometimes it goes down. There is no cannibalization between one campaign and another. That's not something you need to worry about at all. But if you don't do this, if you decide I'm gonna negate good keywords off of my auto campaign and then convert them over to a manual, you're actually gonna have worse results. And that's because the history on a campaign stays with you.